ATV family. Catch us live on your TV screens. Well, you're still tuned in to X Live right here on DSTV Channel 263. And if you have just joined us, Wanako Khaye, no Likai, no Likai, because you just missed out on exclusive music video by Toy Mamela Lale La Lang Chele. One thing about that song, Ya Chai Visa, Guzo Manzi Pansi. Joe, how are you doing? Joe actually is a guest presenter for today. She's still on the screens. We have Ul Jay in the house. We also have Oinga in the house. And also, as you guys know, today is a Wednesday and we are discussing everything that has to do with fashion and art and which is actually next to us it's a trip guys this guy is tripped in chains he's tripped in print he's tripped in everything how are you doing bro and thank you so much for joining us thank you guys for having me i'm, I'm good man i'm good man. how's the weather treating you <laughs> say that again say that again i mean like you can't go wrong with the trip. No you know, band, no show, you show. know? Yeah. just have to rock it. The yeah, trip is cool always on point. Yeah, <laughs> that cool joy combo. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. But otherwise, tell us about your journey. Why fashion design? Um, okay. Um, in twenty uh, in twenty sixteen, when I was in matric, um, I show I saw the love in fashion. You know, because like the people that were in my school and my peers, they were all like dressed the same. You know, and I felt like no man, no man. I don't like to be in box in with other people. I love I love to stand out. Um, and then one day we had a val Valentine's Day in our school and I was like all dripped in. Everyone started to say, oh bro, you're looking dope, can I take pictures with you? And I was mm. like, no, why not, you know? And that's where I saw the touch of fashion to me. Mm. And I was like, no man, fashion is definitely in my DNA. I will have to pursue this. Mm. So Sikilela, I can see you've got a big art, you've got passion, you've got ambition. Uh, and you made mention that you believe that everybody has a gift, everybody has a talent. It's just up to yourself yeah. to discover what it is that your spiritual gift is. Yeah. So uh, do you think that uh, designing or anything to do with the arts, is that part of your spiritual gift? Definitely, definitely. I definitely feel like it's my calling, you know, because like with everything that I'm involved in, you know, like even in my community, I'm currently do working with children in my in the organization called Butterfly Art Project, where I teach them sewing. So for them, it's like, a, a therapy you know because it, it gives them a, a, a courage gives them skills to grow as a person you know mm -hmm. and I mean like to put take on this opportunity I, I feel like I'm on the right path um, yeah. it's a matter for me just to continue with what I'm doing yeah, sure. and be the, the example with what I'm doing and to show the people that whatever talent that you have it's all about pursuing it and mm -hmm. never give up Definitely, and I mean, um, you mentioned working with youth and working with Aband. You also have a non-profit organization that you've just started in 2018. Tell us more about it. What was the concept behind yeah. it, and what do you hope to achieve through that organization? Yeah. So Ubuntu Trend started in 2018 on South African Idols. Um, I went with my friend of mine there wearing like Scottish, all drip there again. And for us, it was not there to go sing, obviously, because we're not singers. We're like designers. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the directors there, they were like, bro, we need to guys put you guys on TV. Your style is dope. Yeah. We need to put it out there. And we're like, okay, why not? And then after that, 2018, that's where like the whole movement started because um, we wanted to show people that our uniqueness, our authentic, our story, where we come from, you know, mm. um, and build culture because like it's all about doing what you love because nowadays people, they only think that in order to make it, it's all about money, but not forgetting that if you wake up in the morning, you need to wake up with something that you love, something yes. that is in your heart. Definitely, something that sets your soul on fire. Yes. And of course, we would not be doing this interview justice if we do not have a visual representations yeah. of what yeah. this man is talking about. Can you please have one of the models come in, show us about it designs that you do, and also it designs, like you've said, but they have a concept, there's a story behind it. Mm. Tell us more about that, especially the first one that we're looking now. Yeah. You guys can see the model is stripped. Yeah. in yellow and black african print tell us about that take us through it together so the yellow basically as you can see it's out there you know it's very colorful and the, that for me personally growing up in the township basically i'm the light in my community you know mm. in the younger generations um because like for them they always think that um being there box in in the community you can't go up you can't go out you know so for me it's a matter of reflecting to them and to be the light mm. and as you can see 
closer the small dots you know and basically those small dots are my journey you know taking step by step to grow and the the, the dots are getting like bigger and bigger and bigger to grow as a young um, fashion designer mm, mm, mm. and i mean you know each dot is a step closer to where you want to be which yes. then becomes this beautiful design are your designs available um online can people purchase them do you have shop is mm. there are there plans of creating a shop if um, you don't have one um, since COVID-19, uh, I think it, it challenge, challenged everyone in the world, but like there is a shop that I worked with um, in town, it's in, it's, a, it's in Long Street, it's called um, um, above, um, Golden Rush, mm -hmm. so it's one of the boutique shops that we worked with, but like the whole aim is to get more boutique shops just to get the designs out there, people can see the message and our uniqueness mm -hmm. that we want to yeah. do in the world. Okay, so Sikilele, we have model number two on stage, and he is rocking uh, this, this. I love this pants. Yeah. I, yeah. Actually, like, I will wear this pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, can you please take us through and explain to us what was the thought process mm. behind uh, this drip? Okay, <laughs> so that drip, like, um, it's, it's my dream, you know, like, basically, it tells me about where I want to see myself in the future. As you can see, like it has lots of flowers and floral. Yeah. So the floral for me is basically planting seeds where I come from in my community. Because I believe whatever that I do, it's important that when I make it one day, it's not forget about my community, you know, mm -hmm. where I have to give back and teach them. So that's where I want to plant seed in my community or any disadvantaged communities. Ooh. That yeah, is a beautiful, yeah. that is beautiful concept. Really like it. I also like the scarf that yeah, you yeah. paid, or what, what do you call that? A, a scarf that you paid <laughs> with, with the pants? I mean, you can, you can play around with it. You can yeah. call it a scarf. You can call it anything. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really loving it. Really loving it. Why the why the importance of taking? Because I see e, e print dark on your drip has African, mm -hmm. you know, prints on it. Why the importance of representing that in your design? Um, yo, I mean, like, I'm, I'm so fascinated with African, you know, I mean, like the culture, the, the race, they're all diverse, you know, um, so I, I make sure everything that I design, it has to do with um, African material, you know, because it tells our story, it tells our roots, um, it tells who we are, and yeah, man, I just love Africa. And we love to see it. Do you have plans? What What are your future plans? Looking into two years, mm. five years from now, and within your uh, um, NP organization as well. Okay, let me first with next year. Next year, my plan next year is to definitely to to go study fashion. Because, I mean, I might have all these ideas, but end of the day, I need to educate myself. I need to develop my skill and learn from other people that okay. have been there, you know, in the industry. And then two years from now, I definitely see myself showcasing on SMNs where um, Joburg, because the trip is always there also in Joburg. So, yeah, man, and also international because... Mm you have to grow end of the day you can't limit yourself so i also see myself like traveling um um going to paris and showing my my uniqueness okay. mm. so, I, I must come up for my ladies though we have two uh, male models on stage uh, modeling your drip but um would ladies be also uh, will they also be able to buy the clothes from you yeah, yes yes okay. de definitely because it's unisex i mean it's not yeah. limited it's yeah. unisex sure sure thanks for that <laughs> and just before we wrap up the interview where can people find you on social media um my personal account is called sigelela kwacha instagram and on also on facebook and then the page is ubuntu trends um two on Instagram mm -hmm. and then on Facebook is Ubuntu Trends only. Are you open for your collabs? Yes, no. Are you open? Are you open for collabs? Why not? Why not, Why man? Not? Let's do this together. <laughs> oh, you, more oh, those models. people that want to join your tribe and your movement, oh, as yeah. you've mentioned, are you open for that? Yes, of course. I believe in this. Guys, you heard it. That is a Sikela. Thank you for joining us. That is amazing. We're going to do all the best for your journey. But for myself, and if you want to go take a quick breather, we'll see you guys right after this. Sungaindao. TV family.